Cutting the container into two sections creates one fish tank and one grow bed. Cutting the cage provides the structural support for both parts. Using the Torx bit screwdriver, remove the bolts that secure the bars across the top of the container. Remove the retaining bars and separate the plastic container from the support cage. Flip the plastic inside the frame so that the top then sits at the bottom. Remove the plastic corner pieces if necessary. This allows you to use the drain at the bottom of the container to drain the fish tank. Measure a line 8 inches up from the top of the pallet. On most containers, the bottom rung of the metal cage is at 7 inches, so you want to be about an inch above that. Mark a line all the way around the plastic container. Remove the plastic container from the metal cage, drill a 1 quarter inch starter hole on the line, and use the saber saw or reciprocating saw to cut along the line. It is helpful to cut along the sides first and save the corners for last. This makes it easier to handle the container. Now you have two pieces that comprise one quarter and three quarters of the original container. Use the smaller portion to grow the plants and the larger portion to house the fish. Turn the cage upright so that pallet portion is on the bottom. Cut the vertical supports just above the first rung using a saber saw or reciprocating saw with a metal cutting blade. Wear safety glasses and get a good grip on the saw. After you cut the first vertical support bar, continue cutting until the palleted portion separates from the rest of the cage. The pallet portion of the cage now supports what will become the grow bed. Using the grinder, grind down any rough edges. When operating the grinder, wear appropriate safety gear, including glasses, gloves, earplugs, and long pants and sleeves. The metal shavings can be hot and travel several feet from the work site, so be aware of your surroundings and make sure the area is clear. This is also a good time to spray the cut areas with anti-rust paint. Next, turn the larger portion of the cage over so the cut posts are toward the bottom. If the system is to be used in a classroom with a polished floor, you may want to place 2x4s under the posts so they won't scratch the floor. Place the fish tank, the larger portion of the container, into the cage. The smooth top rail of the cage should be an inch or two above the top of the fish tank.